It's Friday, the 13th day of July 2018. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Raithina Sijan. These are the stories making headlines across Uganda. Let us kick start off this bulletin from Hoima District. Now, efforts to protect wetlands in oil rich district of Hoima are not yielding fruits due to what has been described as political interference. Reports indicate that about 90% of wetlands in Hoima district have been encroached on by settlers, farmers, and car washers. Rivers and streams, including Kafu along Hoima, Changkwanzi Road, Bigajuka, Renkondwa, and Wambambia in Hoima municipality are facing severe degradation due to car washing bays that draw water from the river. In June 2016, Hoima District Environmental Authorities evicted all people operating washing bays on riverbanks in the municipality, giving each group of car washers five million shillings to set up washing bays away from the riverbanks. However, in less than five months, several washing bays cropped up again in the wetlands. Joseph Biencha, the vice chairperson of Bigajuka Kawashes Association, acknowledges receipt of five million shillings to establish a modern washing bay, but says it was not sufficient for the project. Biencha told New Vision that they went back to the riverbanks at the mercy of the district political leaders, especially the L5 chairperson Kadiri Kirunji. Ronald Chamanyo, the Hoima Municipality Mun uh, Environment Officer, said the municipality is finding it hard to push out the encroachers due to what he termed as a mix of interference and intervention. Now we move on to Butaleja District, where land grabbers are claiming the land on which Butaleja District Administration and Busore Police Station are settled on. The Butaleja Resident District Commissioner Gulume made uh, the revelation while appearing before Land Commission team by Commissioner Rose Nakai, and uh, that was in the district to inquire about the land grabbing rangers. Gulume also said the numbers of government facilities are being threatened by land grabbers that include Butaleja District Administration Block, Busore Hospital and Busore Police Station, among so many others. He said recently government located 23 billion shillings to invest in the first lifting and reconstructing Busore Hospital, but to his surprise, an individual has come out to claim ownership of the land where the facility is seated. As most stories make headlines across the country, there are also stories making headlines into this copy of the New Vision. Our headlining story today is New um, Museveni orders mobile money tax refunded. Oh, I should also get mine. <laughs> okay, another story making headlines today. We see Magara murder suspects in court. And then um, a month after Kaihura's arrest, what we know so far. We have the story right here in detail into the scope of the new vision. Also, UCC bans airtime scratch guns. And then Miss Uganda 2018 search for the fairest on. So some of the stories we have into the scope of the new vision. So buy your copy for the details. Um, more in the new vision, we have finance ministry releases of 4 trillion shillings. What is the money going to do and why did they decide to release it? This story is right here. Then MPs to fast track social media, mobile money tax amendment. Then we have armed escorts, MPs divided as finance examines funding options. Those are some of the stories you should read when you buy your copy of the New Vision. Now every Friday we have the Harvest Money Pullout, which is a successful guide to farming. Uh, we have someone called Joseph Magara's passion, uh, driven success. Okay, this is a farmer who uh, grows passion fruits. Story is right here. Still giving you the series of best farmers. We have best farmers dazzled by family farms, and then from Harvest Money, enrich your farm at Ginger Show. Okay, I think it is soon. Okay, moving on to what is making headlines inside the new vision. We have farmers model. We have okay. This is Yunra. Yunra story better ten years. So we have something here for those who don't know what is happening with the infrastructure in Uganda. The stories are right here. 
Okay, let's just go on to the sports docket. The sports docket says it is not coming. What is not coming? The story is right here in <laughs> the sports docket of the new vision. Remember, the sports docket of the new vision is a World Cup copy. So get whatever you want to know about what's happening in Russia, uh, when the finals are going to take place, what teams are going to be, you know, playing. So everything is right here on in the sports docket of the new vision. Get your coffee at only 2,000 shillings. And remember, we are proudly the leading daily. Uh, now, what is making headlines in the Kampala Sun today? The Kampala Sun comes out every Friday, so you should get this copy every Friday at only 1,000 shillings. So let us look at what you are about to buy. Now, from the Kampala Sun, we have M. Piravo goes real lava revealed. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, then we have the grill. Chikubo men give more money than corporates. And then uh, tight security as MP Niwagaba this side dish. <laughs> okay, today's Kampala San is filled with side dishes of um, MPs. Uh, we have <coughs> bus conductor speaks about a fair with MP. And then nudes, uh, UC, UCU chick faces 10 years Ashba Kato on remand. But, okay. Mm -hmm. More stories in the Kampala Sun. Let us see what we can, what I can tell you. The death march is on. The celebrity death march is on. We have the one and only. And then the one and only. I will not reveal who they are. So just grab your copy of the Kampala Sun and see who won. And it is really a tight race. So. <laughs> Someone got 8% and, I'll, and the other one got 92%. So get your review of the Kampala Sun at only 1,000 shillings and enjoy your Friday. And let's continue looking at stories making headlines across the country. Let's go to Iganga district where Busoga Kingdom is mourning the death of the 29-year prince Wilson Yosia Nadiope, the Chava Zinga's young, young brother who died in a, in a nasty accident at Walugogo Trading Center about one kilometer to Iganga town. The prince was a second-year student of social sciences at the Uganda Christian University. Uh, Mukono was knocked down by a speeding vehicle while crossing the road on foot shortly after dusk on Sunday evening. The deceased, according to Isaba Langida of, Buga, uh, of Bugavula BB Chiefdom in Kamuli district, Henry Mitala Weira was, an internship, was uh, on internship at Kakira Sugar Works in Jinja district. He was a young brother to the Chavazing of Busoga, William. Gavula Nadiope IV. The death took Busoga off guard, wondering how the prince, who has grown up in urban settings like Entebbe and Kampala, would die in a rural location with less traffic. Prince Woyura said the deceased was living with her sister in Walugogo, where he best mm, to go for his internship. Moving on, but still in Iganga district, residents of Iganga are mourning the death of a prominent disco jockey who was crushed to death by a speeding trailer at Busei Trading Center three kilometers along the Iganga to Bujiri Highway. The disco jockey Ramadan Waiso was crushed by a speeding trailer that was heading to Kampala from Busia. The deceased had earlier attended a music show at the Iganga Saza grounds yesterday before heading home at around 9.30 p.m. The district police commander, Iganga Nasibundita, said a post-mortem report indicates that the deceased died after being crushed by a speeding trailer. That is it from me, Berthi Nasaja and the New Vision TV team. Just keep visiting www.newvision.co.eug forward slash video for new news updates across the globe. You can also follow us on our social media platforms. On Twitter, we are at New Vision Wire, Facebook, The New Vision, and our YouTube channel is The New Vision.